In 1983, yet another prominent tech superboss was born. At the age of 8 years, his computer literacy was so solid that he began programming computers. It was his childhood dream to be a pilot, but today, at 39 years old, he is a tech millionaire, a web developer, and an entrepreneur with a net worth of $10 million. His website is one of the top 20 websites in the world and sixth most viewed website in the US. In 2011, Inc., the business magazine included this young yet remarkable entrant into their 30 under 30 list. The first idea for a startup was ordering food via SMS. Rejected. Meet Steve Huffman, the co-founder and CEO of Reddit. Ah, Reddit. The social news discussion website. Are you one of their many users? Then you may be well aware of Spares. Yes, his Reddit username. Born in Virginia, attended Wakefield School and later attended the University of Virginia to study, no surprise here, computer science. Ultimately graduated in 2005. Paul Graham, the founder of Y Combinator, a firm well known to have funded some of the big players in the industry, was to deliver a lecture in Boston. It became wildly known that Paul was to offer $6,000 for a potential startup. Steve, a tech enthusiast, drove to Boston with his roommate, Alexis Ohanian. They did not visit empty-handed. They had their startup ideas in their back pockets. After the lecture, with the opportunity of personal conversation with Paul, their idea was pitched. My mobile menu, ordering food by SMS. Well, it was rejected. But that was not the end of the conversation. Paul gave them $12,000 and with his guidance offered one more chance to pitch another idea. It was then the idea for Reddit came up. Paul referred to the idea as the front page of the internet. Steve began the coding of the entire website in Lisp, a high-level programming language, and a few months later, in June, Reddit was officially born. Steve utilized the method of growth hacking, creating fake accounts, often posting content to keep the website running, and to keep visitors engaged. Just two months into business, it was no longer necessary. Viewer engagement had accelerated significantly. But what was unique about Reddit? The voting system for content, virtual thumbs up and thumbs down. With success peeking in from the cracked door, business began gaining recognition. In 2006, Steve and Alexis sold Reddit to media giant Condé Nast for a good $10 million, but the duo remained in the company. However, as the years passed, they often found themselves in disagreements and ultimately in 2009, Alexis left the company. A year after leaving the company, he began and brought to life. Steve moved on to other adventures as well. The next stop was partnering up with Adam Goldstein to create a travel website named Hipmunk. This startup too was supported and funded by Y Combinator and launched into the market in 2010. Steve took the position of Chief Technology Officer. However, as the years passed, Steve soon began regretting his decision to leave Reddit. The company is his child after all. He found an opportunity to once again be reunited with Reddit as the CEO. Ellen Powell decided to step away. Steve was back. But at the time, Reddit was almost on the verge of losing its users. Reddit was known to allow its users the freedom to post as they wish, free speech absolutism. Probably the main factor that led to this crisis. Many shared their negative views of poor content and the overall management of Reddit as well. The users had no trouble letting out their opinions, most of them extremely hateful and sometimes violent. They were frustrated with a decade-old code which resulted in the lack of smooth flow of threads. When Reddit persuaded moderators to dial it down a notch, they were met with indignant refusals and hate. Steve had a plan. The duo, Alexis and Steve, communicated their differences and decided to bring back Reddit. Along with Steve's re-entry to the company, he made a variety of changes. Changes that he envisioned back in 2005. His main goal to mark his comeback was to improve the mobile experience 
by launching a mobile app for Reddit, one that is supported by both iOS and Android. Every once in a while, I get pissed off with how Reddit is on mobile. Considering I do 100% of my browsing on my phone, it just makes me so angry. He took it upon his responsibility to create a new set of rules and regulations as well. Content that held offensive or may hold the possibility for violence was to be banned and any content that may cause a negative impact or effect on Reddit and its users was to be removed. Neither I nor Alexis created Reddit to be a bastion of free speech. In the future, content glorifying violence and harm against people and animals would be forbidden. By 2018, Reddit had a full makeover on its website making room for a better visual appearance to its users, a major change to its decade-old appearance. How is it that this young tech visionary found success? Providing users with honest and reliable content and services is a must for Steve. Stick to the company policies, stick to its vision, and most importantly, maintain it constantly. Growth for a startup in any industry is never easy, but loyal customers make the risk-taking process worth diving into. If there's one thing that works on the web more than anything else, it's giving people a reason to come back. Steve often blocked out stressful situations, the inability to think results in the wrong and regretful decisions being made. The job is all about time and stress management more than anything else. According to Steve, this is an area in your life that you could truly be in control over. He recommends sleep. If not, no entrepreneur will be thinking clearly and will fall due to unmanageable stress. Steve mentions that being an entrepreneur is very exhausting. It's really easy to be a slave to your calendar. Meeting after meeting, one-on-one, -on -one, spend a whole day without actually doing anything. One rule he followed and advised his followers to uphold is to set aside some time, well, just to think about the future, where you want to go and how far you have reached. Just sit back and analyze the journey. Steve admits many mistakes were made during the establishing process of Reddit, many of which were a result of aiming lower than they should have been. According to him, a major point to success for any startup is to always think and aim big. The beginning is the ground. It will always be from ground up. If the founders aim for lower targets, it will be a long journey to the top. But if they aim big and far up, one day they may wake up to witness the sun shining through the clouds. When Reddit was launched, it consisted of a few website users and today, it's a website that attracts 330 million visitors each month. Steve Huffman, the CEO of Reddit, is often known to guide young programmers at coding boot camps, youngsters with a vision to succeed as he once had. He provides mentoring at the Hackbright Academy and was also an educator at Udacity's web developments program. He enjoys spending time training aspiring young tech stars to grow and become bigger and brighter superstars as he himself is. We certainly hope to see more innovative ideas from the young super boss, don't you? What would you like to innovate? Let us know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.